What's going on, boxing fans? It's Julian Williams with the distance. I'm actually going to give my week wrap, weekly wrap up video today because I will not be in town tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday. So I am going to give you my week, weekly wrap up video today. So I will be going to Chicago. I'll be on my way to Chicago um, tomorrow. So anyway, I'm, first off, I'm going to say check out Friday Night Fights on ESPN season premiere. I believe it's Roman Carmenzen versus Dionisio Miranda for um, I think it's an IBF middleweight championship eliminator. So it's a good matchup to check out. Y'all be sure to watch it. You know, and other than that, you know, you know, there's not much news going around in boxing. There is a little, you know, there's the Anthony Mundine fiasco out in Australia. Anthony Mundine had you know it was supposed to go down and wait to fight to fight Robert Medley at like 154 and he wanted to become the first he wanted to become the first fighter to move down in weight and win championships you know um, he started his career at 168 you know, moved down to 160 to feed like Daniel Gill for the IBO 160 pound championship and won the 154 and apparently he couldn't make the weight you know, I think there was like too much muscle muscle mass on his body for him to be unable to make the weight properly or or make it healthy and you know he, he just um I think I'm, I'm not sure if they're fighting or not I think the fight may have been cancelled but I heard something about he wanted to fight at 160 but you know as a fighter you know um when you when you sign the contract you're pretty much saying that hey I can make this weight you know I agree to the you know weight limits and all that stuff but you know Anthony Mundine should have really thought you know closely before and should have been sure that he could have made the weight before he signed that contract you know signed the contract of fighting at 154 you know because you know especially if he started his career out at 168 so and he started his career about 10 years ago so you know 154 and he's about 34 35 years old you know, I'm not sure if he could make, you know, 154. You know, 160, you know, he, he did look okay at 160. But, you know, 154, you know, he's really draining his body. You know, because his body's so used to being, you know, being, you know, up higher in weight. And, you know, I, I really don't know what to think about the situation. Because, you know, he did sign the contract saying um, that and made the agreement that he could make the weight. But now, since he can't make the weight, you know, he doesn't, it's either he doesn't want to fight or whatever, or, or he just wants to fight at 160. I think he was having trouble with IBO because he did hold one of the titles, and now he's fighting for, like, another IBO championship, and I think that one of the rules is you can't hold two, of, two belts from the same organization, you know, different, even if they're in different weight classes, you know. Which is, which is, I guess it's a bit fair, to say the least. It's a bit fair because, you know, because maybe you'll have a mandatory for like both weights, and you, and maybe you'll be unable to, you know, fight, you know, fight these mandatories, you know, within the year's time. Because I think at the smaller weight class, I believe it's like the mandatories is like six months, maybe, six months to maybe a year. So you know. Um, you know, if he if he has to, you know, you know, if he has to fight mandatories all the time, you know, both of these weight classes, and on top of that, you know, shifting up and down in weight is very dangerous. You know, so you know, I do. Um, I kind of agree with the IBO. IBO um, stripping him of the 160 pound title if he's gonna, you know, if he signed the contract to fight for the 154. But you know, that's just my opinion on that. You know, um, you know, I lost a lot of weight. You know, um, in the last year or so, so I know how it feels to to kind of hit that limit of you know of weight that that you can that you can get down to when you kind of hit that because you kind of hit this area where you know you go down you go down so much in weight and then um, if you lose and you know you lost too much you know if you're hungry all the time so I actually know that that feeling 
but at the same time you know when you really don't take care of yourself or you're trying to lose those extra pounds it's very dangerous and you know I advise you know nobody to try to do that try to um, lose weight or try to drain yourself you know just you know just for a fight like this because you know Anthony Mundine I think um, she just fought 160 you know defending it there and maybe try to get himself another try to get himself a title shot or whatever but you know that's just my thoughts on that situation you know and other than that you know um, you know I might be back later on you know the because some people are saying Mayweather Pacquiao the press conference is supposed to be coming up maybe or if I hear any news on that I will be back today but you know so far for this week you know I'm not gonna I'm pretty much done because you know I got a lot to do I have a lot to do and and just to get ready for this for this trip that I'm gonna be taking tomorrow to um, Chicago Illinois because my brother my younger brother is graduating from the military so I will be going to Chicago for that but you know I could be back on Saturday or, or even Friday, possibly Friday. Following the fights, you'll never know with me. But, you know, to um, everybody that watches my videos, you know, you know, I feel, um, you know, feel free to message me, comment me. You know, I, I'm starting to do mailbag questions. So, you know, anybody feel free to send me a mailbag question. Question, and I'll answer, answer on video. I'll, like, maybe I'll do it like every, every Friday I'll do a mailbag you know for our, you know unless you know there's a question that, that I should dedicate a whole video to then I'll do that you know right away but you know every Friday you know if I have enough questions you know I like at least four or five questions and I'll address them you know on my on my camera you know on you know on the video so you know so I can give you my honest opinion on stuff but you know, I'll be doing you know my mailbag you know every Friday if I have questions. So feel free to question, send me questions to my inbox, and or you know send it, send to me in a video as a video response. And I'll get you know I'll get to you. And other than you know the mailbag, you know I will be returning. You know my I'll be I mean my top five series will be returning next week. Top five fights for 2009. You know so that will be returning next next week I will touch on you know the Gamboa Mutagua and whoever knew um, Lopez I will be touching on that I might touch on you know Brinkley versus Stevens which is a very intriguing very good matchup for 168 with, especially with this tournament going on I will you know talk about you know some news as usual but anyway thanks for watching have a good safe rest of the week and have a good safe weekend Peace.